In this video, we will be discussing the problem maximum product of increasing subsequence of size 3. So the problem says that you will be given a subsequence of non-negative integers. And what you have to do is you have to find the subsequence of length 3 having maximum product, right? So with elements of the subsequence being in increasing order. So basically, suppose that this array is given to you, right? So suppose you have been given an array that consists of n elements, right? So suppose that the array given to you is nothing but 6, 7, 8, and then 1, 2, then 3, and then 9, and then 10, right? So if this kind of an array is given to you, so what you have to do is, you have to pick 3 elements, you have to pick 3 elements from this particular array, right? Such that they are increasing subsequence, right? So you have to pick the elements such that they are an increasing subsequence. So what can happen is, you if you pick 6, so you can also pick 7, you can also pick 8. This is one of the increasing subsequences. Another subsequence can be that you can pick 7, you can pick 8, and you can pick 9. Another increasing subsequence can be, let's say you pick a 6, 8, and 10. Let's say you can pick 6, 9, and 10. Like, right, so all the subsequence that you choose, they should be increasing in order, right? So all the three elements of the subsequences should be increasing in order, right? The left one should be the least and the right one should be the highest, right? So this should be the case. So if you will try and observe in this particular question, so you can see that the maximum uh, subsequence, uh, the maximum product that you can get is from this subsequence. That is if you choose 8, if you choose 9 and if you choose 10, right? So if you choose 8, 9 and 10, then what will happen? Then you can get the subsequence right that will have maximum product because this subsequence will have a product of 8 into 9 into 10 which is going to be maximum right so one of the basic ways to do this particular question like the brute force way to do this particular question can be that let's say you are given this array like uh, let me write this again so let's say if you are given this array that is 6 7 then 8 then 1 then 2 then 3 9 and 10 if you are given this array so what you can do is let's say if you are standing at a particular position suppose that you are standing at this particular position right so if you are standing at the ith position so what you want is you want the immediate smaller element towards the left right because what you want is let's suppose you have an ith element right current your ith element is your middle element right so what you want is you want a greater element towards the right and you want a smaller element towards the left to make this subsequence increasing but since you want to maximize the subsequence right you want to maximize the product of the subsequence so you want your right number you you want your right number you want your third number to be as maximum as possible and you want your left number to be as minimum as possible right you want it to be as minimum as possible so that's why what you will do is suppose that your current element is the ith element so if you are going in your left right if you are going in your left so what you will try to find is you will try to find the next smaller element in the left right you will try to find the next smaller element in the left okay you will try to find the next is smaller immediate smaller like if you if you have 9 then if your current element is 9 right if suppose your middle element is 9 then in that case you if you have options like 6 7 and 8 so which option you will choose you will choose 8 why you will choose 8 because that's the next is smaller element right so that's so that you can maximize your product right so this is going to be the thing now suppose that uh, you are at a current element right so this part is clear that you want your left element to be the next smaller element so that you can maximize your product because if a into b into c is there is the product of your subsequence right so if b is the middle element so you want your a to be as minimum as possible that's why you want to choose a as nothing but the next smaller element of b right towards the left side now what you want is you want an element c as well now do you want the next uh, greater element uh, towards the right no you don't want that let's suppose that you are standing at an element like 7 if you are standing at 7 right so if you are standing at an element like 7 so what you want is you want your uh, you want your left side to be the next small element you want your left left element uh, you, you want your a this element you want the first element to be the next small element but you want your right element to be as maximum as possible right you want the right element this particular element to be as maximum as possible and for doing that what you can do is you can store in an array from the right side that what is the next smaller next greater element right basically what is the largest element towards the right like in terms for 7 the largest element towards the right is nothing but 10 even if you are at, were at 8 so it would be 10 even if you are at the element 1 so the largest element towards the right is nothing but 10 so for every element for every index what you have to do is you have to store the maximum possible uh, number 
to that is present towards the right right so that's what you can do they, these are the things that you need to consider right so if you will write in a brute force approach so if you let's say are currently at an index i and you find the next smaller element towards the left okay if you find the next smaller element towards the left in that case you will have to learn a loop another loop and if you find the next smaller element towards the right uh, like if you find the largest element towards the right so it is going to take a lot of time complexity right it's going to be like order of n cube so how can we try to minimize this thing right so the concept is going to be the same we are going to find the next smaller element towards the left the immediate for a particular ith element we are going to find the next smaller element towards the left side using a set right that's what you are, we are going to do but we are going to find the largest element possible for a particular index i we are going to find the largest element possible from that index i plus 1 till the end right so that's what we are going to do so let's say if this uh, particular thing is given to us right so if 6 is given if 7 is given right if uh, 8 like this is the array that's been given to me and 1 then 2 then 3 and then 9 and 10 right suppose that this particular array has been given to me right so this is the array arr that's been given to me so what i'll do is i'll have a array that will tell me the next smaller element right that's gonna tell me the next smaller element so for the for six the next smaller element is going to be nothing but minus one for seven the immediate smaller element is going to be six for eight the immediate smaller element is going to be what seven for one the immediate smaller element is uh, nothing right there is no element present so that's why i'll write a minus one for two the immediate smaller element is nothing but one now how can i get this part so what i can do is i can store one by one all the elements in the array right so suppose that i am at currently at this index right so i can have a set kind of a data structure right i can have a set data structure in which i can store all the elements one by one so currently i don't have any element in the set right so that's why what i'll do is suppose my iterator in the set like what i'll do is for every element i'll try to find the lower bound in the set right so i'll try to find the immediate smaller element in the set for that particular element and if it is uh, if it's kind of uh, present or whichever is the next small element that particular element i'm gonna assign so currently i don't have so i'll assign minus one then i'll have six so when i'll have seven so i'd return will point to seven right but when i do it minus minus when i do a lower bound when i apply a lower bound kind of thing right and when i do a it minus minus uh, thing so what will happen it will help me to get the smaller element right so this is how it's gonna help me so i can insert all the elements one by one in the set like if, if say i have six and seven so and i have the element eight so if i'll find in the set so i'll get the next smaller element as seven right and after that i'll insert eight now what will happen i have one so no smaller element is present so i if i search for the smaller element if i try to apply a lower bound so what will i get i'll get the i'll reach the end of the set and i'll not find it so that's why i'll write a minus one for this case now i'll insert a one now for two this next smaller element the immediate smaller element uh the smaller element is going to be nothing but uh one right now for 3 it's going to be 2 for 9 it's going to be 8 right for 9 it's going to be 8 because i want the smaller element the immediate smaller element right for uh, for 10 it is going to be what for 10 it is going to be nothing but 9 right so that's that's how i'm going to find now another thing that i require in this question is right so this this was the basic part but there is one more thing that i require in this question right another thing uh, that i require in this question is i want to find the greater element towards the right okay so I want to find a greater element, right? I want to find the great, greater or the greatest element for a current index i. So what I can say is I can run a loop from the back and for this particular element, it will be minus one for uh, for like for an element like this. Let's say I move up, right? So let's say I make a greater element on the upside so that I can explain it better, right? So let's say if I have a greater element, right? If I have a, a array that contains the greater element. So what I will have in this array, right? So what I'm going to have is I'll iterate from the back only, right? And for this particular element, I'm going to have minus one. For nine, uh, the greater element towards the right is 10. For three, the greatest element towards the right is 10. For two, the greatest element towards the right is uh, 10. For one, the greatest element towards the right is nothing but 10. Because I want the greatest element, because I want to maximize my rightmost element of the three elements that I'm taking, right? For eight, the maximum is 10. For seven, the maximum element towards the right seems to be 10. And for six also, the maximum element seems to be 10. So now what I'll do is, I will check. I will check this thing, right? I will ch I will try to find all the valid subsequences that are present. So you can see that this particular subsequence, if you just watch this particular subsequence, right? So if you will uh, check out this sub subsequence, that is uh, six, seven, and eight. So it, it can be one of the possibilities, right? So I'll try to product every every three numbers that are valid, that are that is a valid uh, set, uh, that is a valid subsequence, and I'll try to 
find the product which is whichever is the maximum so i can see that there is uh, this product that is 10 8 and 7 as well right so like if you if i write it like this so basically you have to pick first of all the small element right so this is the left element that you are going to pick this is the middle element out of the three elements and this is the right element okay this is how you are going to pick so which will be the maximum that i'll get uh, the maximum that i will get is nothing but this that is uh, 8 9 and 10 so i will try to find the product every time and whichever is the maximum i'll simply store it in my answer and i'll return it right so this is how i'm gonna do it let's try and quickly implement the code for this particular approach so what i will be having is right so what i will be having is i'll first of all require uh, the answer that will store all the numbers right so let's say initially i'll have a vector that will store all the answers right so that will return all the answers that is the left element right element and uh, the uh, middle element right so what, what for that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna initialize all the elements to initially minus one right indicating that uh currently i haven't found them right and what i'm what i will be doing is i'll have a max as well right i'll have a max i'll tell you how i'll be using it further right so i'll have a max vector why why i'll be using a max vector to store the maximum right maximum towards the right okay now what i will do is uh, i'll iterate through the array right i'll iterate through the array once so int uh, i starts from zero i is gonna be lesser than n and i'll do an i plus plus right so this is the part that i'm going to do now what i'll do is in the ma in the first of all in the array what i'll do is i'll insert all the elements right so in the maximum array first of all i'll insert the elements and then i will update the maximum array right that is going to store the for i th element it is going to store the maximum element towards the right okay maximum element that i can find for a particular index i right so what i'll do is i'll say that mx dot uh, push back right i'm gonna push back what I'm gonna push back nothing but ARR of i. So I'm gonna push the ith element. Once I push the ith element, so what I will do is I'll iterate. Uh, I'll iterate through this maximum array to update it, right? So i starts from uh, in, in i starts from nothing but n minus two, and i will be what? I will be i is going to be greater or equal to zero because uh, I have to iterate till the end, right? So I will be iterating till the end, and what I will be doing is once I have uh, done this part. So what I'll be doing is I'll say that um, the my max uh, max of i right the maximum i uh, maximum element uh, for for the ith element the maximum towards the right is going to be nothing but uh, maximum of what it's going to be maximum of max of i comma max of i plus 1 right because either i can be the maximum or i plus 1 right so that's how i'm going to store now what i will be doing is after this what is happening the greater element towards the right the greatest element for a particular index i is stored towards the uh, to for the index right now i'll have a set let's say i name it as uh, s right i'll have a set and what i will do with this set is i'll start the iteration uh, in the array from the index number one and what i'll do is i starts from one i is less than n minus one and i'll do an i plus plus this set will be used to find the next smaller element right next smaller element towards the left for a particular element so what i'll do is i'll insert uh, i'll insert in this set i'll insert the ith element right so i will insert array of i once i insert this particular element so what i'll do is i'll i'll search in the iterator i'll have the iterator iterator will point to the lower bound of that particular element so i'll say that uh, s dot lower uh, bound right i'll say that s dot uh, lower bound uh, nothing but rfi so i'll find the lower bound in the set once i have found the lower bound so what i will be doing is if it uh, I, if my iterator is not equal to s dot begin right if my iterator is not pointing to the starting and if my iterator is not pointing to the starting okay because i have to do iterator minus minus to get access to the particular smaller element towards the left okay next to smaller element the immediate smaller element that i want okay so what i will be doing is if the iterator is not pointing to the beginning of the set and the rfi current ith element is lesser than the maximum of i plus mx i plus one right so if my rightmost element is uh, the right element is greater than me and the the if the middle element that i am considering the ith element that is the middle element if it is lesser than the uh, the lesser than the maximum element towards the right okay if it is le lesser than the i plus one element so what i will be doing is i'll be doing iterator minus minus first of all right and then what i'll do is i'll say that okay long long current current in the current what i'll store it i'll i'll store simply nothing but i'll store the product so what is going to be the product product is going to be nothing but star of it right because i have decremented the iterator so star of it that is the that this star of it will tell me about the small element so the left element the first element right and the middle element is going to be what array of i 
and then I'll multiply it with what? Uh, I'll multiply it with max of i plus 1. That is the next small level towards the right. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Now, what I will have is I'll also try to see that what was the uh, previous, right? So I'll have, let's say, long, long. Uh, let's say I can have long, long uh, int only. Give me a second so I can have this thing. So I'll have what? Long, long int. I'll have long, long int and what? Previous, right? Previous is going to tell me what previous is going to tell me like uh, I'll have this array which stored the left element, the right, the middle element and the right element. So I'll see what was the previous answer that I had. So previous answer that I had was nothing but one long long into uh, what? Answer of zero, right? Answer of zero into answer of one into answer of two. That is the previous uh, middle element, previous left element and previous uh, right element. So that's uh, with which I have to compare because what was the previous product I have to see, right? So previous, uh, this is nothing but previous product, right? So I can say previous underscore product. And what I will say is that if the previous uh, underscore product, if the previous product that I had generated, if it is lesser than the current product that I have generated, right? If the previous product is going to be lesser than the current product. So in that case, what will I do? I'll simply update. So I'll say that my answer vector will get updated to nothing but star of it. Okay. That is the going to be the left element as I told you because it's iterator is pointing to the set is uh, telling me about in the set what is the next following element for the ith element and the middle element is going to be nothing but arrow i and the right element is going to be nothing but max of i plus one that is going to store this part right after this part is done so what I will do is in the end uh, after this particular loop is over so I will simply uh, return the answer part right I'll simply return the vector that consists of the answer let's try and compile this code and see if see uh, it works or not so. It seems to work on the samples. Let's try and quickly submit it. So you can see that the problem was able to pass all the 40 test cases. So this is how you approach this particular problem. And this is the code for this particular problem. In case if you did like my explanation, so you can uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you.